Hey friends, um, I want to start this video by saying that my videos are about my experience in Thailand, um, the things that I do here, the experiences I have. I can't speak for anybody else about why they came here or why they like it here or why they would want to leave or any of those reasons. But I just wanted to say off the bat that everything I say is just based on my experience and some research that I've done whenever I want to know something about Thailand. You know, I mean, I go out there and I ask people, you know, whatever my question is, I'm going to ask and find out as much information as I can on whatever the subject is. So, you know, disclaimer, everything I say on here is just from my own point of view. I'm not an expert on Thailand by any means. I've been here three months. And um, so I'm going to talk about why I moved to Thailand and the thing that, uh, is prompting me to talk about why I moved to Thailand is because of a message that I received from somebody after making a post on my Facebook page about there being more people around town and um, and going to the produce market to get some fruit. Um, so you know, I made a post about that there seems to be more people in town, and uh, I went to the fruit market and the price of watermelon had gone up, and I. I said I didn't know why it had gone up because it seems like it's watermelon season all the time. And I had done some research and they said watermelon is available year round here. But I guess technically the growing season, the peak growing season is in January and February. But we're getting the best watermelon we've ever had in August, September and October. So it seems to me that watermelon is pretty much available all year round even though peak growing se season is in January and February. So she basically tells me that the people that I'm seeing here aren't people that are coming on vacation. It's not necessarily tourist season. It is people that are moving here. And she says that the people that are moving here are ruining it for the people that have been here, you know, as long as she has. Um, she basically said that I'm the person that's making it, that's ruining it for everybody because I'm going on my YouTube channel or talking to my friends on my Facebook page about, how affordable things are here. Um, and so that's, that's kind of where this whole thing started. And so she had said other things about how it was, it's basically my fault that, um, that I'm driving up prices for everybody else by telling other people, telling my friends and my family and people that watch my channel that it's more affordable for us to live here. So, you know, the reason I moved here was to retire. Um, the way Thailand came into my consciousness about retiring was that we were coming on vacation, so we did a bunch of research, and in doing our research, we found a bunch of channels of people basically talking about the same thing that she didn't like, was people telling us how affordable it is to live here, how it's you know possible to retire here, um, just the quality of life. Um, and so for me personally, the big reason to move here was safety. Um, I'm from the U.S. and things in the U.S. are crazy and um, you know we've been traveling around for the last five years in an RV so we've been to a lot of the different western states all the way from you know up to uh, Michigan and South Dakota and all through the western states and we've seen in places where you just go into a Walmart and there's some guy with in a, in a polo shirt with a military gun strapped to his leg at Walmart and it's just like or even like going to get a taco in near our property in Arizona we'd go to get a taco and out in the middle of nowhere and some guy walks in with a gun on his hip now sure you might need a gun on your property for coyotes or whatever you need it for but you didn't need it to go get tacos anyway the feeling of safety in Thailand is a whole different story than in the US I mean I don't know how many people from the US have that feeling of going into a big crowd and just thinking to themselves, could this be the place? Could something be going down here? So just always having that in the back of your mind, you know, in the U.S. was just something that I don't, we don't have here in Thailand. Thailand, one of the big reasons that I really wanted to move here was because it's a country that's steeped in a thousand years of Buddhism, and that really comes, comes across in the way people act. Um, you know, theft is theft is not a big issue here. You can walk the streets at night safely. Um, so safety was a big, a, one big reason, and not just the safety, but the feeling of 
the live and let live attitude. This is called sabai sabai mentality. And uh, sabai means happy in Thailand, but it's you can't really translate it because it means so much more than that. Um, so anyway, so this person was telling me that because people come here and you know influence other people to come here who are broke, and it's just like. I mean, I guess she was making some assumptions on, on whether or not I'm broke or not, um, because I talk about the savings and actually being able to retire here. Um, so I think that was a big assumption. And a lot of it was projection from her about, you know, if more Americans come here and more Americans come here, they're living off their social security. Basically, she's saying that Thailand doesn't want that and the Thai people don't want that and that they don't like you uh, because you're broke and that you just came here for the, uh, for the price tag. You didn't come here for Thailand. And it's just like, no matter where you go in the world, those are going to be your concerns, whether it's, you know, can you afford to live there? Um, you know, all, there, all those different things. Safety is a big thing. There's, lots you know, there's a lot of places in the world that you could go and live cheaply, um, you know, inexpensive and have a good retirement. But the other questions come into mind of like safety, medical care, transportation, infrastructure, all those different things. And so... For me, basically, it was, a, it was a chance that I could actually retire in a beach town. I mean, look at this. You know, retiring in a beach town, that's something I never dreamed that I would ever, I didn't even think I'd ever be able to retire uh, in the US and I probably would not have been able to retire. I would be working always just to make enough money to, for the extra bills or whatever. And so, knowing that I could come here and actually retire comfortably and not have to work anymore. And I mean, it was kind of a no brainer. And so, you know, I'm sorry to the people who feel like people like me are ruining it for them and are driving up the prices. Um, you know, inflation's all over the world and no, and uh, I guess it's getting better in the U S but it's still just living in the U S in general is a really expensive, proposition and to know that there was some place that I could go that is more peaceful, the people are happy and smiling and the cost of living is so much lower. That's what I did and I think that's what anybody would do for themselves. And so, you know, to, as far as this woman is concerned, you know, I'm sorry if you think that I'm the person driving up the cost of living for you or if you just think that it's people like me that are sharing our experiences, are ruining it for all the other people that have been here longer. You know, she had talked about how the cost of living had gone up uh, two to three times for things that she buys. And uh, if people keep coming, that she was gonna have to move somewhere else. And it's just like, you know, I don't know what to say about that. I just have my life to live and to create the life that I wanna live with the resources that I have. And moving to Thailand was one of them. And so separating, um, you know, coming for Thailand versus coming for the price tag, I don't think that's something that's really, um, it doesn't really make sense to me. Like separating the price tag versus uh, Thailand itself. I mean, I'm in Thailand. I appreciate the things about Thailand. I respect their laws. I don't, you know, I... I want to follow all their rules so that I can stay here a long time. But I don't think that expressing myself and the, the reasons I moved to Thailand or the reasons that I like Thailand um, should really affect anybody but me. You know what I mean? It's just I'm just one person just trying to live my life. And if you think that it's people like me that are ruining it for everybody, you know, I don't know really what to tell you other than that, um, hey, sabai sabai, you live your life, I'll live mine and we could just both create our own happiness in it. So, uh, but I just wanted to like, just make this video talking about why I moved to Thailand and that I didn't move to Thailand to ruin it for anybody else. I moved to Thailand to make my life and, and my wife's a, just a better life for us. So we'll see how this turns out, see if I need to make more video on this and uh, we'll go from there.